Okay, so let's hear what Pema has to say today. Space permeates everything. Things happen to us all the time that open up the space. This spaciousness, this wide open, unbiased, unprejudiced space is inexpressibly and fundamentally good and sound. It's like the sky. Whenever you're in a hot spot or feeling uncomfortable, whenever you're caught up and don't know what to do, you can find some place where you can go and look at the sky and experience some freshness, free of hope and fear, free of bias and prejudice, just completely open. And this is accessible to us all the time. Space permeates everything, every moment of our lives. Okay, so from this reading, we're going to find uh, two concepts to explore. And so Pema talks about uh, completely open, when the, uh, a, a space that is free of hope, fear, bias, and prejudice. So I'm thinking if open is on one side, maybe judgment is on the other. So you can pick whatever concepts you want to, uh, and, uh, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna explore open, being completely open to something, and then without, kind of without choice, um, and then the other the other side is judgment where I where I'm choosing. Okay, so let's try that. So find your seat, sitting up tall, and then start moving the feet, looking at your toes, looking at your heels. Sense the connection between the soles of the feet and the ground. And then maybe bring your awareness to your breathing. Noticing the inhale, noticing the exhale. If you want to, you can bring your awareness to your nostrils. and really sense how the breath comes in through the nostrils and out. And then bringing your awareness to your two sitting bones. And the two sitting bones can um, exemplify the two concepts. So one is open and the other one is judgment. So one part of us is completely open to anything that happens. And another part of us is judging what happens, putting it in good or bad or right or wrong. So open judgment, open judgment. And then coming to neutral. If you want to use your fingers, gently tap at the crown of your head. Maybe open up that um, hole, that shushumna. Let's see. I have my slinky here. So you can imagine the core in you as a slinky. Yeah, so that will go from the front of your head up to the universe, through you, and all the way from the root chakra into the ground. So if you like images, this could be an image. So that would be your shushumna. And inside the shushumna is pure awareness. That's the idea. Now imagine sometimes the shushumna get a little foggy, like a chimney. 
So imagine using your breath to clean the shushumna. So using the, using the breath as a brush and clean it. So imagine how you're inhaling and exhaling up and down through your shushumna. And then placing your hands on your knees and then starting the cat cow movement. So exhale and round your back. Inhale into your back bend. Exhale and round. And then finding your way back to neutral. And then open and close the fingers like blinking, bubbling stars. All the way up, clasp the hands, turn them over. And then reach and reach and reach and reach. Turn, open up. And reach and reach and reach, turn, open up. Release, roll the shoulders. And then let the knee and the elbow connect. Okay. With a wide and stable stand. We're going to explore the two opposites. One is open and the other is judgment. Okay, we're going to use our fingers to paint a picture, starting with judgment. So pick a color, dip your fingers, and then draw the image of judgment. And then release that image. And then going to open, pick a color, dip the fingers in open, 
and then draw that image. And then release. Okay, let's jump the feet together and land on top of the mountain. Look at your toes, spread the toes, dip the toes in ink and write the story of a judgment. Write the story of judgment. And then stepping out wide, elbows to knees, fingertips together, bend in the spine and breathe. And then release the hands down, drop the head. Inhale, come up. And then place the right foot on the left knee. Use your fingers to open up the toes. Gently guide that knee out wide. And then slide the knees together, whatever leg is on top, that arm goes under, give yourself a hug. And then find your way to eagle, find your way to, to eagle. Now, imagine this is an eagle that is judging, putting things in good or bad, right or wrong. Look at it, notice how it feels what it does. And then let that eagle fly away, fly away, fly away. Now, look at the other toes, spread the toes as much as you can, dip your toes in ink, and then write, write the story of being open, completely open to what is, completely open. Write the story of open. Step out wide, elbows to knees, fingertips together, lengthen the spine. And then place the left hand on the floor, the right hand on your right knee, inhale to lengthen the spine. Exhale, look up towards the sky. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, come a little deeper into your twist. Maybe the top arm goes up. And then bring the top arm down and under to your opposite ankle. Move the uh, left arm forward, look up the, under your armpit. And then back. Okay, place the right hand on the floor, the left hand on the left knee, inhale to lengthen, exhale, look up towards the sky. And maybe the top arm rises up. And then thread the needle to the opposite uh, foot. Walk the hand forward. And then come back up. And then all the way up. Place the left foot on the right knee. Use your fingers to open up the toes. Gently guide that left knee out wide.
And then slide the knees together. Whatever leg is on top, that arm goes under. Give yourself a hug. And then find your way to an eagle that is completely open, completely open to what is. What does that eagle look like? How does that eagle feel? What does it do? And then let that bird fly away, fly away, fly away. Okay. Wide and stable stance again. Blinking, bubbling stars all the way up. Clasp the hands, turn them over, straighten the elbows, breathe. Now imagine your arms as wings and fingers as feathers. Now open up and spread your wings wide and then fly out. Fly anywhere in the world, or the sky, or the universe, wherever you go, or maybe at the core of the earth. Inhale, bring the uh, palms up. Exhale, dive deep. Inhale, come up. Exhale, dive deep. Inhale, come up. Exhale, dive deep, and then bring the arms behind you, holding on to opposite elbows, and then stay there. Now, notice any part of your wings that needs some extra care. And then maybe use the breath as warm, healing, softening water. And bring that breath to any part of you that needs extra care. And then release the right arm, shake it out, bring it up and over and place it behind your heart, to the back of your heart. And then allow the fingertips to um, move closer to each other. And then release. And then release the, the left arm, bring it up and over, place it at the back of your heart, back of your heart. And then the fingers move closer and maybe they touch, maybe they don't. And then release, shake it out. Maybe roll the shoulders a few times. Okay, we're gonna build strength in our legs now. So bring the knees, I mean, they bring the heels a little closer. Big inhale, exhale. And then pick a number, I'm gonna pick 10. 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. One more time. Big inhale. Exhale, come up to stand. Pick the same or a different number. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, and one. 
Okay, shake it out, take a few moments. If you feel dizzy, there is no, there is no rush up. You can sit there for a while. And then big inhale, exhale. Come up to stand. Once again, if you feel dizzy, place your hands on the chair and wait. And then bend the knees and come up to standing. Okay, breath of joy. Three inhales and one exhale. Starting with the arms out wide. Inhale, one, two, three, exhale. Inhale, one, two, three, exhale. Inhale, one, two, three, exhale. And then let the arms go. Let the arms go. You can bend your knees. And you can dance off the mat. And then eventually letting the knee and the elbow connect. So letting um, openness and judgment connect and having like a conversation. So what would the conversation be between complete openness and judgment? What would that sound like? And then cross the midline. And then finding position of power, position of power. Place your hands on solar plexus. Gonna bend the knees and inhale into solar plexus. Exhale, open up. Inhale into solar plexus. Exhale, open up. Inhale into solar plexus. Exhale, open up. But then stay open, stay open. And then place your hands on your hips again. And then starting to strengthen the external support. So we already have external support. This group is external support and uh, but we can strengthen, we can still strengthen it. So building or strengthening the external support that we already have. And then lean and lift, lean and lift. So both outer hips are now working and we're adding some stress to the body by balancing. And to be able to stay here, Bring your awareness, your breathing, noticing the inhale, noticing the exhale. And then try the other side. Lean and lift, lean and lift. And then eventually taking skillful action, skillful action. Okay, now we're gonna push something away. So we all have patterns, maybe, yeah. So I don't think you can stay too too open. Maybe you can, I don't know. So, so we're playing with open, being completely open to what is, and then judgment. So whatever you feel that you do too much of, you want to push that away to allow what you do too little of to take some space and create balance. Okay, so uh, 
pick something that you do too much of and then push that away. Give it a shape, a form, a color, and then push it away. And it's gonna be so hard because for years we have been doing this. It's a pattern that is kind of ingrained in us. And to do something different is hard. So it's gonna try, it's gonna to wanna to come back in. It's gonna be so hard to resist. And you are gonna give in a little bit. And then eventually you will find the strength to push it away, push it away, push it away. Maybe you need to kick it away a little bit. So I'm going to try to sneak in from the side, from behind you. And eventually you are winning. You are winning and you have created balance. You have created balance within you. And that is worth celebrating. So let's do three sun salutations. I like to start with my feet hip distance apart. That gives me a little bit more stability. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, up and over. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale all the way back up. Exhale down the midline. That was one, two more. Inhale, arms up. Exhale up and over. Inhale halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale all the way back up. Exhale down the midline. Last one. Inhale, arms up. Exhale up and over. Inhale halfway, exhale fold, inhale all the way back up, exhale down the midline and then stay there holding your own heart in between your hands with self-love and self-compassion. And release. Okay. We're going to start in Tadasana, big toes to touch, heels slightly apart, and then stepping back to warrior one. Okay. Inhale to chair posture, exhale to Angelina Mudra. Transfer the weight to the left, the right heel comes off. Take a big step back. Find the earth behind you with your toes and then your heel. Both hip bones are pointing forward. When you have a wide and stable stance, that's when you bring the hands up. There's no rush, no rush. You can stay here or if you want to, you can bring the, uh, bring the arms up. Warrior one observes without judgment, just taking in the fact Open up the arms, place your arms, your arms in your back pocket. Let the elbows move closer to each other. Now, if you want to bring your awareness to your heart space. And then listen to your heart. Listen to your heart. And then allow the heart to guide you into warrior three, becoming the arrow. And then slowly finding your way back or the arrow is gonna land on the next mountain. Okay, let's try the other side. Inhale to chair, exhale to Anjali Mudra. Transfer the weight to the right, left heel comes off. Take a big step back, find the earth behind you with the toes and then the heel. Both hip bones are pointing forward. 
when you have a wide and stable stance, that's when you take the hands off. And then if you want to, you can bring the arms up. Observing without judgment, taking in the facts. What do you see? Open up the arms, place your hands in your back pocket. Bring your awareness to your heart space. And listen to your heart. What does it say? What is your heart's deepest longing? And then allowing the heart to lead becoming the arrow into warrior three. So you're flying, flying in the air. And eventually the arrow lands on top of the next mountain. That's the story at least, or a story. Inhale to chair, exhale to Anjali Mudra, transfer the weight, right heel comes off, take a big step back. This time we're going to open up the pelvic half, moving into the second chakra, um, the right to feel, the right to feel. Place one arm in the past and the other one in the future, and we are right here in the present moment. Flip the front hand, reverse the warrior. And notice how that left side of your body feels. Come back to the present moment, place one hand on the chair, the other one goes up and over. And feel that long line of energy from the back foot to the top fingers. Coming back to warrior two. Hands on your hips, straighten that front knee, release the hand down to the chair or trikonasana. Maybe the gaze comes up, maybe the top arm goes up. Hand comes down, gaze comes down, rebend that front knee, finding your way back to warrior two one more time. The right to feel, the right to feel. And then place the hand, both hands on the chest, stay there for a moment. And then transfer the weight forward and pick up that back leg, pick up the back leg. Maybe the same arm follows. And then slowly find your way back to Tadasana. Okay, other side. Inhale to chair, exhale to Anjali Mudra, transfer, transfer the weight to the right, left heel comes off. Take a big step back, open up your pelvic half for warrior two. Second chakra, the right to feel. One arm in the past, the other one in the future, and we are right here in the present moment. Flip the front hand, reverse the warrior. And then bring your awareness to the right side of the body. How does your, the right side of your body feel? And 
then moving into the future, place one hand on the chair and the other top arm is going up and over. And then maybe feel the long connection from the back foot to the top hand, from the core of the earth into the universe. And then coming back to warrior two. Hands on your hips, straighten that front knee, release the hand down and forward. Maybe bring your gaze up, maybe bring the top arm up for Trikonasana. And then hand comes down, gaze comes down, rebend that front knee, finding your way back to warrior two one more time. Staying with what is. Place your hands on the chair, stay here a few moments. There's no rush into half moon posture, we know it's coming. And then transfer the weight forward and bring that top leg up, maybe releasing the hand down. And then slowly coming back to Tadasana. Okay. Starting in mountain posture. So imagine a stable, steady mountain. And on top of that mountain, there are some crevices, there are some soil. Drop a seed, transfer the weight, allow the roots to grow wide and deep, maybe into the mountain. They're always opening somewhere. And then when the time is right, allow your tree to grow. It could look like a traditional tree or it could be something completely different. You decide. And then eventually it's time for the tree to go back home. And then drop another seed. Transfer the weight left here comes off. And when the time is right, allow that tree to grow. It can look the same or it can be completely different. And then slowly going back home. Okay, now bring the feet a little wider than your hips, spread the toes, and then release the knees closed. Okay. Uh, 
if you want to, you can sit back gently on your heels. And open up those toes. Okay. And then look at your thumb. And let's start with judgment. So think about when we're judging, we're putting things in good or bad, war, warm or cold, right or wrong. So we're making a judgment. Um, take that color, hope and fear, and then draw a big circle, big circle. And then give the heel a little dot. And then on the opposite side is, com is open, completely open. And then pick that color. And then draw a big circle, big circle. And then take both colors, both colors, mix them together and draw two big circles, two big circles. And this time place your hand in your back pocket. If you want to bring your awareness to your heart space, then simply notice how you feel. And then release that, untuck the toes, and then come into child's posture. When you do child, you can keep the knees wide or you can keep the knees together. You chose, you choose, you choose. Inhale, come back up. Clasp the hands, create that stable base. Tuck your toes, lean into that support. Maybe lift the knees a little bit off. Notice how, if it's stable, release. If it's not stable, change it. And then try again. And then come all the way up, walk your feet closer to the chair for a uh, dolphin posture. And then bend your knees and come all the way up to standing. Okay, now, after we have done the physical practice, I'm gonna read the same, uh, same text from Pema and see what we hear this time. Okay, space permeates everything. Things happen to us all the time that open up the space. This spaciousness, this wide open, unbiased, unprejudiced space is inexpressibly and fundamentally good and sound. It's like the sky. Whenever you're in a hot spot or feeling uncomfortable, whenever you're caught up and don't know what to do, you can find some place where you can go and look at the sky and experience some freshness, free of hope and fear, free of bias and prejudice, just completely open. And this is accessible to us all the time. Space, 
permeates everything, every moment of our life. Okay, so with that in mind, we're gonna do the seated meditation and we have about nine minutes to do that. So sit up tall. <clears throat> uh, find your breath, notice the inhale and the exhale. And then I'm going to be quiet for about nine minutes. Here we go.
Wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, move your head from side to side. Take a deep breath in, let it go. Bring your hands into Anjali Mudra, holding your own heart in between your hands with self-love and self-compassion. If you want to, you can bow in gratitude for this practice, thousands of years old. Think your inner guides, your past, present, and future teachers, and all the people that are joining you on this journey. Open your eyes, raise your gaze, and thank you so much for practicing together this morning. Namaste. Okay, and now if you want to, you can, it's now time for your journal. So the title was Space Permeates Everything. It's July 24th, space permeates everything. And the two concepts that I picked out from the reading was open and judgment. So now I have the structure for self-reflection. So this is my structure. And then I'm gonna lay down on my couch over there and uh, just lay there for a while and usually what happens is that after the words and the physical practice we realize things and then I have color so if I think about open what does it mean to be completely open and there are, then there are colors or something comes or words uh, and then same thing with judgment and that's how we learn more about ourselves this whole practice is, is about fig figuring out who am I? <laughs> who am I really? Self-awareness. Okay. Mm -hmm.